Royce from ano, San Fernando, La Union. I grew up there. Pero na yon kasi I'm here na yun. I'm based here in Manila. My lola, the the dad of I, the mom of my dad, is an artist also. Pero it's more of hobby lang, not yung talagang professionally na inclined siya na ito talaga yung gusto ko. Usually, before a uh, trabaho niya is more of mga parrots and mga flowers na nasa vase. So, before, bata pa lang ako, nakikita ko na din si Lola na, na si Ito, Finn. Ito, hindi ko ba? I'm curious ka pa paano ginagawa ng Lola niya? Ano, it's, look at her. Look, look at her kung nagpipaint siya. Kasi parang nas, yung stress niya nawawala. So, nandun na siya nakaconcentrate. So, kami, bata pa lang talaga. Yun ay nakikita namin eh. So sabi ko, enjoy lang siya. Ako din mag enjoy din ganyan din. Drawing, drawing, ganyan. Mga competition, competition. Sumasali ako. Kahit hindi na nanalo, sige pa din. Sali pa din. First art, apple. I was at age of yun, five years old. Pero it was very, ano na siya eh. Mukha na talaga siyang apple. Five. Ah, uh, ano siya? Um, oil paint. It was. It's just a small one. It's in the province. Eh. My mom kept it. Nilagyan na niya ng frame. Sabi ko keep that. Kasi nako no. <laughs> um, Nayon kasi I'm into abstract paintings. Before I started, uh, I was doing ano uh, mga cubism, fat people. Balay-balay, mga, mga ganong mga tema. So, through the years, I ano, nag-evolve naman ako. So, ang mga trabaho ko na, it's more of letters, numbers, and codes. You will see letters, numbers, and codes. Actually, ang daming, te, ang daming pinanggagalingan ng Electric Dreams eh. Kasi since, di ba, we are into, and also our families into, um, electric distribution. That's why I got a uh, contador meter, meters. Ako pumili sa isa niyan. Parang isa, kasi gusto ko din makaiwan ng legacy sa family ko. Siyempre, I want them to be proud also. Na, does it mean that you're an artist? Eh, di ba yung, siyempre, alam nyo naman, di ba, when, when other people say, ah, artist, artist lang yan. Pero once kasi talaga na you put your passion into it, the things that you do, Iba eh. Talagang nandun yung force na, hindi, ito yung gusto ko, focus ako dito, ito yung gusto ko. May maaabot ka eh, kung talagang itutuloy-tuloy mo lang. It, kahit in spite of the, yung mga, syempre yung mga bumpy roads, syempre, ang dami nga na yan, eh, diba? Pag gagalingan mo, mahirap, wala na, give up ka na, tayo pa ulit. So, dapat tuloy-tuloy ka lang. I finished everything three months. For three months? Yes, three months straight. So, I, I, work every Saturday and Sunday. Oh. And then, pagka may free time ko ng weekdays, trabaho pa din. Tuloy-tuloy yun para maka-create ng something like this. Siguro now, kasi it's very, ano, no? Uh, nalabas ko yung mas more of yung creativity ko. When, syempre kasi before, I was just planning to do it, eh. Pero now na I've done everything na, iba yung feeling, eh. Kasi, nandun na lahat, eh, yung mga dating gusto kong gawin na nagawa ko na. So, yun yung ano ko, yun yung... Okay, sa totoo lang, ah, nagdadasal ako every time na gumagawa ko ng piece ko. Kada piyesa ko, parati ko nag-ask na, Lord, give me, give me, ano, the strength na to finish the job, finish what I have to finish, and kayo na bahala sa akin to guide me what to write. Kasi, di ba, may paintings are more, okay, it's semi-abstract. So, yung may makikita kayo, letters, numbers, and codes. Uh, mostly, uh, what's written on it is yung puros mga positive thoughts. Hindi siya negative, codes, numbers. So, lahat ng mga nakasulat dyan, it's all listed on a piece of paper para just in case there's some, may collector na gustong kumuha or may gustong ano, gusto nilang malaman kung ano yung parang explanation of the work, they have a copy. So, ganun ako magtrabaho na yun. It's very different from before. Kasi before kasi, my works are mostly fat people, 
You see houses, different colors, tapos I use gray pastel. Pero now kasi, syempre, I also use, ano na rin, I mixed media na din ako. Yeah, before I used to, ano, talagang I compose songs also. Pero syempre, you can't do everything at the same time. Eh. You have to concentrate on one thing. Diba? Like what I said kanina. So, dapat focus-focus lang. Pastime yan. Music, gitara, banda. Pero hindi naman ibig sabihin nun, kakaririn ko naman na. Tingnay ko naman eh, kaso. <laughs> Mahirap pumasok eh. Mahirap pumasok sa music industry. Masyadong madaming ano. feel bad eh. Because you can't please everyone. You can't please everyone. So, for me, if you don't like it, it's fine. I mean, I won't feel bad. Pero sana, syempre, may mga times that na-offend ka din, diba? Kasi, yung iba, may mga vlog spot na susulat, di maganda. Diba? They, they say bad things about you. They don't even know you. Sabi ko, Lord, kayo nabahala sa kanila. Basta ako, I'll still keep on doing the things that I like to do. What I love, and I just want to inspire other people also through my art. Tuloy, tuloy lang nila na not to give up, not to what, not to give up. Because it's na yun eh. I mean, ikaw eh, you shape up your own identity, yourself as a person. So through the years posible na hindi ka magpo-progress sa ginagawa mo eh. Basta, maniwala ka sa sarili mo. Saka syempre, of course, you have to pray also. Kasi ba diba, through prayers and through hard work and syaga, patience, may kapalit yun na maganda. Maganda yung ibabalik sa'yo. So, yun. Yun yung ano ko, yung advice ko sa mga aspiring young artists na yun. Okay. To those of you who are, ano, um, artist out there or ano, mahilig sa art, please come and view my works at the uh, Renaissance Art Gallery. Um, I'm featuring my uh, denim series, my contador series, and of course my paintings, regular shape paintings. Uh, I hope to see you and I hope you continue to continue to appreciate my art. Okay, um, the exhibit runs until November 3.